What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'll be showing you more than 50 hidden features and changes in iOS 12 and these are going to be features that were not shown on stage at WWDC this year. All right, so we have a lot to cover in this video so let's not waste any more time, let's go and get straight into it. So the first one is that you now get a suggestion to call somebody back after missing their call. You can see right here that it shows a Siri suggestion for phone telling you that you could call somebody back since you did miss a call from them. This is one of just many new Siri suggestions because Siri is a lot smarter in iOS 12 but this is a really, really handy one. So basically when you swipe down or anywhere where you get Siri suggestions you will see an option to call somebody back if you did miss their call if we go ahead to our music and start playing our music and then go ahead and lock our device you can see that we now have a new dark more translucent look to the music player on the lock screen and a notification center you can see that this is what it looked like on iOS 11 and here is the difference here on iOS 12 it looks so much better here on iOS 12 speaking of music you can now go into the music app and search by lyrics to a song so if you maybe heard a song in the store or somewhere and you only remember the lyrics you didn't really know what it was called or you didn't shazam it you could actually search the lyrics and it will show you that song straight from within the music application. So you have to toggle it to Apple Music and if you search for a lyric like she said, do you love me? You can see that it will pop up if we go down, you can see God's plan right there and it will have in bold the lyrics, which is what you search for. You can see right there and you will be able to find the song that you were searching for just by knowing the lyrics. So this is extremely useful, especially since it's just built in to the music application. And while we're in the music application, if we go ahead to radio, you will notice that if we go ahead and scroll down, we now have featured stations, which was not there in iOS 11. You can see that in iOS 11, if we go ahead and scroll down, it basically just shows upcoming shows, featured videos, featured playlists. We did not have a featured station section right here, which is nice. If we go to settings and battery this has a completely new look if we go ahead and scroll down right here you can see we can see a ton about our battery life now in ios 12. you can see that the comparison here to ios 11 is night and day difference ios 12 just looks so much more visually appealing you can see we have the chart right there usage time and things like that if we go to last three days you can see a lot more information right here and we can go and tap on these charts right here as well to change some of the stats that are shown and this is obviously a great feature because everybody loves looking at battery life and seeing where all their battery is going the predictive text box is a lot cleaner looking here in iOS 12 compared to iOS 11 here on the left you can see it has a more flat look and it really just looks so much cleaner here on iOS 12 and also if we click on the applications button right there you can see that the whole interface is different it's now at the top instead of taking up this whole screen down here and removing the keyboard you can see that it looks a lot different and we have a photos tab now so if you click on photos you can see it brings up the photos right here you don't have that here in iOS 11 if you click on the camera it will bring up this view right here where you can also add effects. You can see here that there's all these effects. You can put an an emoji on your face. You can write on it. You can do all kind of awesome stuff here straight within the messages camera. So definitely a lot of nice improvements here to the messages application. So if you use two-factor authentication and you get SMS for your two-factor authentication, it will now be auto-filled with iOS 12. It will actually show up when you pull up the keyboard and you just simply tap and it will put in that code for the two-factor authentication. And this is great so you don't have to memorize them or just switch apps and copy and paste. It will just show up, like I said, as an autofill option, which is awesome. Now, if you go to settings, general software update, you're gonna notice that we now have a toggle for automatic updates and we can turn that on or off. Now let's talk about some of the new features in FaceTime. So you can see that we now have a new end button right here compared to iOS 11. It's just the phone. You can see it's an X now in iOS 12. We also have new options right here on the right side and the effects tab over here on the left-hand side. And if you go ahead and click on this options tab right here, you you can see that we have effects, we have flip, we have mute, speaker, camera off. So you can turn your camera off if you wanted to, which is pretty cool. And then you can see right here, it shows that we have one person in the conversation. You can also add people right here. And there is also a title for the FaceTime. If you wanted to, you know, title a FaceTime, if it was like a group FaceTime, you could do that as well, which is really cool. So you have all these options now built into FaceTime. So now Siri can help you if you forgot your password by simply asking what your password is. So you can see right there, if you ask what your password is, for instance, I said, what's my password for Amazon? It will take me straight to the passwords and account settings, and it'll have me put in my fingerprint or my face ID to view that password. And this is really cool, and you can do it straight from the lock screen as well. So if we go into our Siri settings, and if we go to Siri voice, you'll notice that we have two new accents now, one for Irish and one for South African. We also now have the option for Siri suggestions on lock screen. This was not available in iOS 11. It was just in search and in lookup. And if we go ahead and turn on low power mode, you'll notice that we can now use Hey Siri. Siri, as you can see right there. We can also have Siri turn on the flashlight. Hey Siri, turn on the flashlight. So you can see there that my flashlight is on in the back. That is new here in iOS 12. Now, one thing I forgot to mention inside of messages is that if you go to the store right here on both, you can see that in iOS 12, we now get the name of what application we're actually in up in the top left. And we also get an X right there, whereas we don't get any of those here in iOS 11. We also have a flat bar up at the top now in comparison to an arrow. So in iOS 12, you can now move the cursor on the keyboard by holding the space bar on non 
3D touch devices. So on 3D touch devices, you know how you could just 3D touch and move the cursor around. You couldn't do that before on non 3D touch devices, but now you can again by simply holding the space bar and moving it around. We now have a new settings panel for voice memos. And we can see right here, we have all these options permanently delete voice memos, which I'm not sure why that's the case. I'm going to turn that to never. We have audio compression quality. We can have AAC or uncompressed. And then we also have default recording name, so you can change the default recording name, which is pretty cool. We have a new widget here in iOS 12, and that is for screen time. I guess I haven't used the phone enough recently to show the chart right there, but it will show the chart straight from within the widget section, which is really cool. Of course, you can get to that by going to edit, and then clicking add down here and moving it around here inside of your widget section. So if you go to our weather, take a look at that weather, by the way, terrible. Who said Florida is the sunshine state? But anyways, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see we have a new setting there for air quality, not a setting, but a new panel for air quality. And you can see it says moderate. We also have the air quality index as well. So it's the air quality and also air quality index. None of those were in iOS 11. So if you have an iPhone 10, you can now add multiple faces to face ID. So if you wear a lot of makeup and you look completely different, you can now add that look to face ID. So we now have shortcut Shortcuts for contacts inside the messages application. So if you go and click on the contact name up here, you can see we have shortcuts for FaceTime calls, FaceTime video, and also info. And of course, if they do have a phone number attached, it will be for phone call and also text messages. If you click on info, you will see that it shows the information for that contact. If we go to our control center and 3D touch on the brightness, you will notice that the sun shrinks quicker here on iOS 12 than it did in iOS 11. So let me go and demonstrate that for you. You can see right there, it also gets a new look as well. It has these little dots instead of just the rays like it does in iOS 11. It's a lot more responsive than it was in iOS 11. So if we invoke reachability, you can see that we now have an arrow up top and we can also move that around like so. And if we swipe down from that arrow, you can see that it brings up notification center. You can also invoke reachability while in the app switcher. So if we go and do it right there, you can see while in the app switcher, we are able to invoke reachability. So if we go to settings, you can see that accounts and passwords has been changed to passwords and accounts. And if we go to touch ID and passcode, and if if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see that we have a new feature here for USB accessories. And if this is disabled, you're going to need to unlock the iPhone to allow USB access if it's been more than an hour since your iPhone was locked. And I talked about this extensively in the past, but this basically is to combat tools like the gray key box. Now, if we go to our settings for notifications, you'll notice how we have a completely new look here inside of the notification settings. So you can see we have a much better look right here for notifications, how they show up. And we also have a new feature here for notification grouping. If we go and click on that, you can see you can change it by app or automatic or you can turn it off. And speaking of notifications, if we go and swipe down on the notification center to get to the notification center, you can see that in iOS 12, it now shows notification center instead of saying when the notifications are actually from. So in iOS 11, it showed earlier today or yesterday, but in iOS 12, it just shows notification center. Now, I'm not sure that I like this change and this could be a bug since this is the first beta, but that is something that I noticed. And you'll notice that the X to clear notifications is definitely bigger here on iOS 12 and it's also more translucent. And if we go ahead and click on that X, you can see that the clear button in the clear text is bigger as well, so it's going to be easier to touch. So if we go ahead and take a screenshot, you'll notice that we do have new options for marking up these screenshots. If we go ahead and tap on, say, the marker, we get the option to select the size right away, and we can also change the color by simply doing this. We can change like the opacity. If we go and click on the color right there, you can see we could choose from all these different colors. We also have a color wheel right here, so you can choose from all these different colors. You can just do a lot more now with marking up photos, which is pretty cool. You'll see that we now have a new option for show icons and tabs, and this is actually just favicons, which is really cool and I'm glad this is finally in iOS. So if we go to Safari and go to our tabs, you'll notice that we now have favicons for all of these sites right here. You can see the Apple logo right there, the Yahoo logo right there. And of course, if you change this to landscape mode, you will see all the tabs and all the favicons right there, which looks really nice. And if we go even further down in the Safari settings and go to advanced experimental features, you'll notice that we do have some new features here in iOS 12, more experimental features than we did in iOS 11. So here's an awesome feature that I'm definitely going to be using. So if we go to our podcast settings, we now have the option to change what the skip buttons, how far they actually skip ahead or how far they go back. So by default, it's 15 and 30 seconds. But if you wanted to skip forward, say 60 seconds, we can now do that. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like inside of podcasts. So you can see here, we can now go forward 60 seconds instead of the default 30 or 15. And you can also change how far you go back as well with just a simple click of a button. So if you are a podcast listener, this is definitely an awesome feature for you. So the books application got a complete redesign here in iOS 12, and it's actually called Apple Books now instead of iBooks and you can just tell right away that the look in iOS 12 is so much more modern, so much more clean. 
We have all new tabs at the bottom. We have a whole new look. Everything is different and a lot better here in iOS 12. You can see that the bookstore looks a lot better. The library looks a lot better. So if you 3D touch on notes, now in iOS 12, you get the option to scan document instead of a new sketch. So I'd imagine more people scan documents with notes than they do sketching things out in notes. So this is definitely a nice addition here in iOS 12. And just to emphasize these Siri shortcuts a little bit more, you can see that it's really smart and it knows which shortcuts I might want to add. So if I wanted to add a shortcut for starting a video call, which I did the FaceTime earlier, I can do that. I can play the podcast by just adding a simple command to Siri and we'll play that podcast or start a video call. It's just really cool. So if you compare these settings panes in iOS 12 to iOS 11, you can see that the control center pane has been moved to just under general. I feel like that's a much better spot for it than where it was over here on iOS 11. And also sounds and haptics has been moved up to notifications, which is different than iOS 11. Things just seem to be a lot more organized in settings here in iOS 12. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is more than 50 new hidden features and changes found in iOS 12 beta one. I'm sure there are many more, but that's all I found so far. Make sure you guys check out my other iOS 12 videos down in the description below and also so up in the cards up in the top right hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up button also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 12 content so thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you soon